We don't want co-education and we've designed a structure to end co-education in Afghanistan. Higher education institutes have agreed with that plan and they're implementing it. The Taliban have excluded girls from Afghan secondary schools after they ordered only boys and male teachers to return to the classroom. The Islamist group made statements saying secondary classes would resume, made no mention of girls or women. Despite Taliban promises, it is the latest sign Afghanistan may be returning to the harsh rule of the 1990s. In another development, the Taliban shut down the Women's Affairs Ministry and replaced it with a department that once enforced strict religious doctrines. During the rule between 1996 and 2001, the Ministry for Propagation of Virtue and Prevention of Vice was responsible for deploying so-called morality police on the streets to enforce the Taliban's strict interpretation of Islamic religious law, known as Sharia. A statement issued ahead of Afghan school reopening said, all male teachers and students should attend their educational institutions. Secondary schools are usually for students aged between 13 and 18. Most schools are also segregated, which makes it easy for the Taliban to close down schools for girls. School girls and their parents said prospects were bleak. Earlier this mid September, the Taliban announced that women would be allowed to study at university, but they would not be able to do so alongside men and would face a new dress code. Some suggested the new rules would exclude women from education because universities do not have the resources to provide separate classes. Barring girls from secondary school will also mean none will be able to go on to further education since the Taliban were removed from power in 2001. Any more progress has been made in improving Afghanistan's educational involve, education involvement, enrollment, and literacy rates, especially for girls and women. The number of girls in primary school increased almost from 0 to 2.5 million, while the female literacy rates nearly doubled in decades to 30%. However, many of the gains have been made in the cities. According to Nooyat Nishat, a former education ministry spokesperson, this is a setback in the education of Afghan women and girls. This reminds everyone of what the Taliban did in the 90s. We ended up in a, with a generation of illiterate and non-educated women, women, she said. Shortly after taking power, the Taliban said the rights of women in Afghanistan will be respected within the framework of Islamic law. We are Muslims and we want rights that Islam has given us, not the rights that Westerners impose on us.